Hi, welcome. Let's talk about ABGs. All right, so today, listen, I have to make this fun because learning has to be fun. Otherwise, you're not going to learn, I'm going to get bored, and we're all going to fall asleep. So today, we'll be talking about ABGs. It's very easy. I give you a quick little mnemonic so that you do not forget. Let's go. Welcome to Arterial Blood Gases Lesson 1 or Part 1. This is going to be a two-part lesson. Okay, step number one when you are interpreting ABGs, you want to look at the pH and you ask yourself this question, is the pH acidic or alkalytic? No right. one is going to be this acidic or this basic, right? Um, but I had to, this is what I could find under the Creative Commons license. But the way that it goes, if the number is less, which we mean kind of by low, then we say that that is acidic. The higher the number, the more alkalytic, right? So think like baking soda and things like that. Whereas like lemon juice is very citrusy, it's very acidic. So if something is less than 7.35, it is considered acidotic, greater than 7.5, alkalotic, or guys, there's so many terms for alkalosis, alkalytic, alkalotic, it's the same thing, okay? Um, but the normal pH range is 7.35 to 7.45. I love unicorns, so I put this one in here, okay. so. We need to determine if it's respiratory or metabolic. So you look at it and you're like, okay, this is acidic. The next step is, is it respiratory or metabolic? When it's respiratory, you wanna look at the PaCO2, AKA the carbon dioxide, right? If it's metabolic, you wanna look at the bicarb, which is this right here. So respiratory has to do with CO2, right? We exhale CO2 and metabolic is bicarb. CO2 is acidic. Bicarb is basic. Bi bicarb basic, BB, okay? Carbon dioxide is acidic and there's no B in that. So bicarb basic, ya basic, okay? Lungs control PCO2, PACO2, and kidneys control bicarb, which is basic, ya basic, okay? That will help you on your exam. Think Rome, when in Rome. So, Rome, R-O-M-E, is your acronym or a mnemonic, however you, whatever, same thing. Rome, right? Respiratory will be opposite, metabolic will be equal. Rome, that is the mnemonic or acronym. When your pH is going this way, when it's decreasing CO2, and if your CO2 is increasing, then, it's going to be respiratory, right? This is going to be respiratory acidosis. If your pH is high, via basic, and your CO2 is low, then again, look, the arrows are going in opposite. The takeaway point here is that in respiratory acidosis or alkalosis, the arrows face in the opposite direction. So look, the pH is low, CO2 is high. The reason for this is because I said already that CO2 is very acidic. So the higher the CO2, the more it's gonna drive this pH down. But even if you don't get that, if you think Rome and you just remember that opposite arrows equals respiratory, you're gonna be good. If the pH is high, alkalosis, and the CO2 is low, then that is respiratory alkalosis. Again, you see how they're facing in opposite directions. Now we move to metabolic. So in metabolic, the arrows face the same direction. So if the pH is high, that means basic, the bicarb is also going to be high because remember that bicarb is basic. So it makes sense that if you have a lot of it, it's going to drive the pH up, right? So if you have a very acidic pH, your pH is low, then your bicarb is also going to be low because remember, the bicarb makes something basic, BB, okay? 
Before we can practice, you need to know normal parameters for arterial blood glasses. So a normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. That is a normal range. The PaCO2, this is primarily where you're looking at. That's why I put it here. The PaCO2 normal is 35 to 45. Bicarb is 22 to 26 milliequivalents per liter. So now let's practice. Let's take step number one was what? Yes, look at the pH. I will let you see what you think that is. Is the pH high or is the pH low? CO2 is 38. Bicarb is 18. So the answer is metabolic acidosis. We know looking at the pH that the pH is low. The bicarb is low. So looking at this, we know the pH is low. The CO2 is within normal range, so it's not going to be respiratory. And the bicarb is low. Which way are the arrows facing? They're all facing down. And what do we, if we know it's acidosis and all the arrows are equal, right? Then what is it? It's Rome metabolic acidosis, okay? Metabolic equal, remember your acronym. Remember your acronym, respiratory opposite metabolic equal. Let's try another one. We have a pH of 7.6, what is the normal again? We have a CO2 of 25, and we have a bicarb of 24. So the answer is respiratory alkalosis. We knew that it was gonna be alkalosis because normal range is 7.35 to 7.45. The CO2 is 25, and that is low. So the pH is high, the CO2 is low, and the bicarb is within normal range. Because the bicarb is still within range, the body is not yet trying to compensate. Let's try another one. pH of 7.2, CO2 of 50, bicarb of 24. So which way is the pH heading? Is it down or is it high? It's low, right? And then the CO2. Is it within normal range or is it high? Normal CO2 is 35 to 45. So this is elevated. So we have a low pH, a high CO2, respiratory acidosis in a normal bicarb. pH is low, CO2 is high, arrows are pointing in the opposite direction. Let's try another one pH of 7.5, is that pH high or low? Is it acidic or alkalytic? CO2 of 39, bicarb of 36. So it's metabolic alkalosis. The pH was high, the bicarb was high, arrows are facing in the same direction. You see that? It's really just, I mean, just by doing the arrow trick, you, you will get this every time. Make sure that you watch next week's lesson two on arterial blood gases and compensation. Thank you so much for watching. Now go rock out your exam. Mm -hmm.